All right, guys, so I am back here today with my Premier Body Armor plate, and I'm really excited about testing it out. Now, this is their Fortis Level 3 plate, and it's a 10 by 12 plate with a true sappy cut. It's made out of a really nice proprietary steel that's super thin, a lot thinner than some other steel on the market. I go over all the advantages and how I set up my specific plate carrier with this in a video that came right before this one. So go check it out. It's a plate carrier setup video. And in part of that video, I talk about all of the advancements and really cool features of the steel, but I also talk about spall coating. Now this has a spall protection, just like a lot of other armor plates or steel armor plates on the market. But what Premier Body Armor offers is a really cool Kevlar spall protector that goes over top and the compression of the plate carrier presses this on and mitigates spalls since this is a true Kevlar spall liner so a very nice option now if you already have steel plates Premier Body Armor sells this separately for $35 so a really good investment even if you don't buy the plates from these guys so today I'm out here testing the steel and spall liner inside one of their made in the USA carriers that they provided for me to destroy so really excited about this video now the steel that they use in this plate is also used in a like a plate above this one it's about $25 more and it comes with an NIJ rating really the only difference is that certification because it costs money now some people actually need that certification for law enforcement or other duties but for your average Joe like me if it's the same steel and that other one passes this one is good for me so that test is actually six shots at 308 at 50 yards so that's what we're gonna be doing today but not six shots at 308 we're gonna be shooting 223 556 762 by 39 and 308 because a lot of times 223 or 556 will actually kill a plate easier than 308 in some circumstances depending on velocity so enough talking let's see how this whole setup works including the spall protection so i've got the plate in the carrier all set up with the spall liner and it is pressed against this big barrel so that is going to provide some sort of almost semi-rigid backstop uh simulating like a body and then it's hanging from this wooden plate or wooden plate rack so we will see how it does i'm going to fire six rounds for this initial chest then we'll check spalling and we'll also check pass through so i'm going to shoot 223 556 308 and 762 by 39 and again this plate it is rated at 50 feet i think i misspoke earlier but it is 50 feet for six shots of 308 in a very similar pattern to that so let's try it shoot it and see how it does so I've got a green tip and a standard 5.56 in here, so we'll see how each of those do. I'm going to shoot that green tip first. I'm going to try to shoot a little bit left and then pull the other 5.56 a little bit right. So let's see how this plate does. All right, two hits. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, there are our two hits, one right there and one right there. And you can see absolutely no spalling out of any of it. So it's completely captured, which is awesome. So two hits and zero pass through. So there's nothing on the back and nothing on the barrel. I'll show you guys a closer inspection of the plate after this, but nothing passed through and it captured all of the spalling. Let's move it up to the next round. Next up, two full metal jacket out of this AK-47. We'll see how it does. That hits hard, let's go check it out. So there are our other two hits right here. And you can see that the spall guard is doing a great job. You can see some barely poking through, but it hasn't broken through, it's actually captured it. So all of these hits right here on a traditional steel plate are gonna be throwing a ton of spalling. I mean, look at this, how this is torn up with spalling. That would be all over here, but you get protected by the spall layer. So very, very awesome, four hits in. No spall damage to the uh, person wearing the plate as well as it stopped it. You can see nothing from behind and no pass through. Again, I will show you guys 100% once I pull out that plate. And finally, two rounds of this NATO spec 762 by 51 out of this Bear Creek Arsenal AR-10. I would absolutely hate to get shot, I mean with anything, but let alone an AR-10 this close. But let's see what it does. That hits hard. You can see that barrel shake, but let's see how the plate did. All right, guys, there's a hit and there's a hit like right at the corner. So you can see some spall ripped and split, but it looks like, I don't know if a ton escaped or it just completely split. It definitely shredded this end right here. So some spall escaped from this corner shot, but again, that is a 308 right on the corner. That is really impressive. Let's see if it stopped it. 
and it did nothing, no dents in the barrel, and you can see no holes at all in the back right here. Again, let's pull out the plate now and inspect it. So now for the moment of truth, guys, let's pull this plate out of here and see how it looks. So you can see that the spall liner stays on top and you can see all of the spalling captured and falling out. And the spall liner of the plate itself remains reasonably intact on this side for the 5.56 and 7.62 by 39. And then on this side, you can see where it kind of starts peeling away and kind of busting out the sides a little bit. But overall, it does a very good job of stopping that spall. And on the back, you can see zero penetration whatsoever. So it stopped those fine and it really mitigated those first four shots perfectly with Spall and a little bit got out for that corner shot of the 308 and honestly I mean that is a powerful round and for that plate to do so well with the Spall liner I'm very impressed but now I've got 10 rounds of 556 with a plate that's reasonably supported in wood with no plate carrier. Now I'm just testing the plate itself for multi-strike capabilities. Knocked it over. Let's try to support it a little bit better. I think I have it supported a little bit better. I'm going to finish off the rest of these nine. <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right, well, you could see, I mean, it's just getting eat up right now, and the spall liner is finally giving way on the side, but zero pass through. I mean, absolutely nothing went through. That is really awesome. You can feel a few dents from where it was getting hit multiple times in the same place, but this plate took 10 hits, plus the six still going strong. That is really cool. Next up, five more shots with the AK-47. This may knock the plate over, but we'll try. I think I have it supported good enough. All right, that was five shots from the AK. Let's try to readjust this for you guys. Now, two more shots of the 308. Oh, that hits so hard. You can see the spall liner just got blown apart by the 308 round. Here is the spall liner. It was finally blown off by that 308 round. And here is the plate. I mean, no pass through. Look at that. You can see some slight dings and some slight dents from the 308 rounds. But man, I am really, really impressed at the durability of this plate. All right, so we all know speed is what kills body armor, and this was just pulled, this SS-109 was just pulled off this stripper clip, and that military issue SS-109 is booking it. So if anything is going to kill this plate, this close is fast AR-15 ammo. So let's give it a try, 10 rounds. Man, oh, 10 rounds of that, five rounds of some AK ammo. Four more rounds of 308. I don't know if it stopped all that, but let's go check it out. All right. Well, it delaminated the back spall protector, but nothing went through. I mean, you could see some huge dings and gouges right here from, I believe it's that SS-109. It's traveling so fast. A lot of times you can punch through some um, other steel body armor with SS-109 this close. So I was, I was confident in this plate, but man, I am just really, really impressed at the quality of this steel. I mean, it did so good. Zero pass through.
So I am 100% confident that this steel itself is going to save my life. And we can see that the spall protection included with this plate is amazing. It does a very good job with the six or seven rounds. But what I wanted to see was I have a raw steel plate in here. I put the spall liner, the used spall liner back in front of it. And this is a pretty cool test because this has already taken six rounds. But I want to see if it will protect spall with a raw steel plate. So if you guys already have a raw steel plate or another plate and you want to add the spall liner will it work so let's load this back up into the plate carrier and see how it does so here is the fresh shot of the plate carrier no spalling out of the edges let's shoot this guy and see six rounds of 556 five, out of this AR-15 we'll see if that spall liner can protect against that raw steel and we'll see how it does Let's go check it out. All right, well, we have one hit, two hit, three hit. And then I think the rest of our hits are wedged in up through this black right here. But you could see that used spall liner really did a good job. You could see some stuff trying to poke through, but it actually like captured it. No, no real spall that came out the top. I mean, some little, I don't know fluffs right here but man i am very impressed so that is pretty cool that that used spall liner on raw steel really protected the sides from completely blowing out so pretty neat so i pulled it out of the plate and you can see look at that that is what the kevlar spall lining is doing so it's actually hitting the plate where you can see all of these hits again no pass-throughs whatsoever this plate has zero holes in it you can see well maybe just a, a hairline crack right there but nothing went through that is just so impressive it keeps taking all of those hits and it's capturing the majority of that spall so a great combination between this plate and spall liner so i am approaching i think 50 rounds i'll have to go back and count them all but i mean it just took hit after hit after hit the spall protection did great and just going back through a lot of videos online i'm not going to name the company but a while back um some ar-15s with like 556 ammo were defeating body armor at this distance steel body armor so it's very impressive to see that it could take hit after hit and keep going so if you guys like this armor go check out premier body armor i'll add links in the description below and remember to use that coupon code 704 for free Free shipping they also sell complete carrier packages and the spall liner independently if you already have your steel and you just want to protect yourself from the spall which you can see is nothing to joke with so i hope you guys like this video and if you have please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a good one